Number five, a typical barometric pressure in Denver, Colorado is 615 millimeters of mercury. What is this pressure in atmospheres and kilopascals? Okie dokie. So they basically gave us a pressure reading out in Denver, Colorado. By the way, really cool city for all you Denverinians. I think that's what you guys are called. Um, I could be mistaken though, but I had the opportunity to visit Colorado a couple years back and wow, love the state, love Denver. Let's keep going. So they gave us a pressure of 615 millimeters of mercury. Now we just have to find this in atmospheres, right? And kilopascals. Just be familiar with what these are abbreviated as, right? Atmospheres, it's the first three letters in the name. So atmosphere is always ATM. Kilopascals, kilo is like the SI units, right? It's a K. And then pascal is PA. So this would be K, P, A. All three of these units are always pressures. It's not any other unit. So just uh, be able to identify that, guys, okay? Now let's start uh, with the converting. Because basically all we have to do is just convert 615 millimeters of mercury. And I say millimeters, mm, millimeters, hg, mercury on the periodic table. Uh, we have to just convert it into ATM and kilopascals. So, 615 millimeters of mercury times by a ratio, right? We know how to work with dimensional analysis or ratios, right? You throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom or on the opposite side. In this case, it's going to be on the bottom. Let's work with ATMs first. So, I put ATM and then I use my conversion factors. Now, I made it simple for you guys. I wrote out the four major pressure units and what they are all equal to one another. So all you have to do here, since they're all equal to each other, you just got to pick and choose. In this case, I'm taking ATM and I'm taking millimeters of mercury. So for every one ATM, I put the one on top, there's 760 millimeters of mercury. So 760 millimeters of mercury. Cancel out the unit you don't want. And that's the first answer. 615 divided by 760, I'll do three sig figs, so 0 0.809 ATM. So a little bit less than one, right? One ATM, just for uh, reference, guys, one ATM is sea level. And Colorado, Denver, I believe Denver starts like a mile high above sea level. So it makes sense that you have less than... Uh, one ATM as you go higher and higher and higher and up and up and up and up to even like Mount Everest, you're going to have very, very, very low pressures. Okay. That's why you can't really breathe up there. Interesting. Let's keep going. <laughs> 615. Let's just see. 615 millimeters of mercury. We're going to times by a ratio again. Millimeters of mercury goes on the bottom. Kilopascals now go up on top. Pick the two units and their numbers. So for every 760 millimeters of mercury, 760 goes on the bottom, there's 101.325 uh, kilopascals. So 101.325 kilopascals. Get rid of the millimeters of mercury. And just do the math. So 615 times 101.325 divided by 760. With three sig figs, this would come out to be 82.0, uh, not ATM, kilopascals, KPA. And there you go. And just know that all three of these are equivalent to each other. So 0 0.809 ATM is 82 kilopascals which is 615 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so hopefully that helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. If it did help, please press the subscribe button and tell your friends, tell your classmates that this you know, service ex exists. Uh, it just gets the word out there in the YouTube community that you know this, this channel exists. So I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? I'll see you all later. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.